It's Kanasali on Sporting Icons. Okay, to be fully up to speed on this particular subject, you're going to have to watch the previous three videos. Okay, now in a nutshell, uh, the IBF have ordered Fury and Usyk. Once they have their undisputed fight, then the winner must fight Filipovic next. Okay, so that's via the IBF. But we know that's not going to happen because the IBF is going to be vacant. The reason it's going to be vacant is because Fury and Usyk have a two-way rematch. It doesn't matter what happens in the, their undisputed fight, they're going to have a rematch. Which means the IBF title is going to be left vacant. Currently, Filip Herkovic is in line to fight that. But it's a case of who does he fight next. Currently, as of me doing this particular video, it's Anthony Joshua on the rankings. But for those of you who watch the monthly rankings that I do on all of the sanctioned bodies, as soon as they release their rankings, I will do the video to keep everybody updated. But as of right now, they haven't done it. So Anthony Joshua is currently next in line. But when the next set of rank rankings come out in the next week or so, it's not going to be Anthony Joshua. It's going to be Otto Wallin. Otto Wallin went to Turkey this past weekend and took on Murat Gassiev. He defeated him via split decision. Don't, don't really matter what the decision was, he won the fight. That was actually a IBF eliminator for the number two position. So that would mean that Filip Herkovic versus Otto Wallin will fight for the vacant belt currently. Now, there are options out there. Firstly, Filip Perkovic and Otto Wallin could just wait, fight nobody, or fight a, a nobody, if you like, have an easy tick over fight, if you like, and just wait for, the, wait for that fight between them two to fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. Or, Anthony Joshua could tempt one of them to fight him next, and it will have to be next, because of the time clock. Okay, so in other words, if Anthony Joshua was to fight Filip Herkovic or Otto Wallin, then he can steal one of their positions. But to become the IBF champion, he's going to have to fight both of them. So it's going to have to be his next fight against one of them to take their position and then fight the other one for the full title. Does that make sense? So that is the current state of play as far as the IBF is concerned where Anthony Joshua fits in okay so um, um, initially me and um, a lot of you thought that Joshua would be next due to the current rankings but those current rankings are going to change imminently Otto Wallin will fit into that number two position drop your thoughts below click thumbs up subscribe catch you next video